Hello and welcome to Witchy Woo Tarot. This reading is for the general collective of Aquarius and will not be for everyone watching. So if the message resonates with you, please let me know in the comments. And if not, please check your moon, rising, and Venus signs for other messages you need to hear. And remember, time, energy, and gender are fluid. Feel free to reverse roles however you see fit. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. So thank you so much to my new and returning subscribers. You guys are so freaking awesome. Um, if you haven't already heard, please be sure to check the description box below follow me on Instagram and Facebook for details on how to enter into my Halloween giveaway with Messy Awakening. So yes, there will be two giveaways again this month as my usual uh, monthly giveaway where I will select three winners. And since Halloween's my fave, I'm going to draw a fourth winner to win all the spooky stuff I have listed on my social media. So if you don't have social media, but you're subscribed to my channel, you're already entered to win. Um, but if you do and you would like more entries, be sure to go on there and tag all your your friends so for Scorpio season I thought it'd be really appropriate to do a deep dive see how your person is feeling about you um, and of course this is about whichever person that pops into your head when you think of love and romance might be one person might be three people just depends on your scenario um, no judgments from me obviously but take the messages that resonate for you don't force it to fit that goes for you and any cross watchers that are watching this video so First, I'm going to dive in with the Santa Muerte Tarot, and then I will be clarifying with the Tarot of Sexual Magic mini deck. So if you don't like naked booties, doing it in the nature on baskets of fruit and, you know, in bushes and shit, then you might want to go ahead and click off so that you and your little virgin ears and eyes are not compromised, okay? So Aquarius let's get weird okay let's see what this person is thinking and feeling and let's dig in to how they're viewing you what their intentions are and their desired outcome okay so how is this person thinking and feeling about Aquarius okay we have one Do we have any more from this deck anything else from this deck okay so we have the King of Wands and the Hanged Man. All right, Daddy, here we go, Aquarius. Let's see how they're viewing you. How is this person viewing you? We have Seven of Wands. Justice. and the four of swords very nice energy so what are their intentions aquarius how do they intend to move forward what are their intentions okay we have the hierophant and i'm going to take this one because it's sideways we have the star beautiful so Let's see, what is their desired outcome? What is this person's desired outcome? <clears throat> All right, that's good. Good, good, good. And good. What do we have at the bottom of the deck? We have the Eight of Swords. So, you know, it looks to me like this person is starting to realize perhaps where they've been holding themselves back due to fear, due to anxiety. Um, this is self-imposed imprisonment. Eight of Swords is just allowing yourself to let your mind take control and let you feel trapped from moving forward. Okay, so I think that, like I said, this person is starting to realize where they've held themselves back before. And... You know, communication is so very important to you, Aquarius, and if this person is holding back communication from you or not being um, honest with how they feel, I know that could be very uh, frustrating for you, but what they're thinking and feeling about you is the King of Wands and the Hanged Man. So it's like King of Wands is very passionate, is very um, bold, and goes after what it is that they want. <clears throat> They pursue, they take action. They're not afraid to, to charge forward and put themselves out there. So they see you as this very fiery masculine energy. They're, they're feeling like, 
perhaps they're feeling like you're also the type that takes control sexually. Um, someone who is very passionate, like I said, and <clears throat> they feel that passion coming from you. And so perhaps this is changing the way that they see things. Perhaps they're starting to come to new conclusions or having like little breakthroughs and awakenings about, <clears throat> about how they feel about you. They, they perhaps feel like you're the type of person who can really take charge and help them to see life in a new way, okay? And so the way that they're viewing you, we have the Seven of Wands, Justice, and the Four of Swords. So they see you as someone who is, again, passionate, who's going to stand up for what's right, for what they believe in, someone who's following their sole purpose, someone who is, um, is going to do what's right. And they could also see you in defensive energy, perhaps, as this is the warrior's pose. Um, but with the Justice card and the Four of Swords coming up, I really feel like perhaps they see that you are kind of balancing those two things out. Like, you know, you're the type of person, I feel like Aquarius, where you are very um, eccentric with your ideas and you are just very like, you're futuristic. You're like always thinking about new and, and interesting unique ways to kind of do things right and so perhaps this is them seeing you as balancing the light and dark of this element okay someone who stands up for what they believe in versus someone who's defensive and aggressive they could see you as healing from perhaps that aggression and kind of balancing out um and and like i said doing what's right starting to lean on that on that um more libra energy that that quality that you have within yourself that's like fighting for the underdog in a sense. So with the Four of Swords, again, healing from that, as you can see, this person's putting nails in the coffin. So to me, I think they see you as someone who's kind of saying goodbye or putting to rest an old version of themselves. Perhaps, like I said, that aggressive energy or that um, need to defend oneself. And they could see you kind of surrendering to the connection more, okay? So... Let's see how they intend to move forward. These cards, man, they're never straight, ever. Let's see how they intend to move forward. We have the Hierophant and the Star. So Hierophant is about marriage. It's about spiritual beliefs. It's about spiritual connection, um, higher order, you know religion and and rituals and rules and traditions and so they intend to kind of um commit they want to commit to you they want to show you how serious they are and so as you can see the hierophant in this photo is operating a ouija board which is about communicating with the dead okay and so perhaps what they're wanting to do is revive whatever this this situation is with you perhaps maybe there was some aggressive energy making them kind of see things in a new perspective um, and you've kind of come to a new um, a new like a new level in your own growth where you're starting to like I said see the way that you've maybe behaved with this person in the past kind of aggressively now you're kind of balancing things out and putting that to rest um, so this person intends to commit to you. They intend for hope, renewal, a revival of this connection, and perhaps it's going to require some communication of the past, of something that was once dead, perhaps. Okay? So, you know, you could be wanting to put whatever this is to rest, but this person could want to resurrect it. <laughs> Um, you know, you might want to, to, to kind of let something go and surrender and this person's like, nope, we're going to straight up start doing this with the Ouija board here. We're going to resurrect this old conversation. We're going to resurrect this relationship um, and we're going to talk about it, right? So... So like I said, this person's realizing perhaps where they have maybe um, held back communication from you in the past and you're causing them to see this. You're like reflecting back at them and causing them to see 
and now they do see with the hanged man they're, they're understanding now a new way of things um, they're starting to maybe see how you have kind of caused or they have kind of caused you to be defensive in the past and now you're just kind of done with the bullshit and you're ready to kind of even things out and and say goodbye to it or put it to rest um, but again like I said this person is committed they're dedicated to you they're wanting to continue with this relationship and they're really hoping that um, and wishing that you guys can kind of hash it out and communicate right because their desired outcome we have temperance Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. So with Temperance, this is divine order. This is alchemy. It's mixing. It's kind of getting that balance in a sense as well. So both of these cards here are talking about balance. Um, and then Three of Pentacles about growth. So spiritually, I think this person intends to connect with their higher self and allow like their spirit guides, their angels, the divine, the universe to... <sighs> to kind of, um, you know, mend things in a sense. So maybe they're thinking that time and patience and dedication and, you know, watering the seeds and really working with you um, is going to kind of create a new beginning here with this connection, something more stable. So let's get some clarification on their thoughts and feelings. seven of cups so I feel like that what this person is thinking and feeling to clarify is you know they're definitely they fantasize about you for sure you're their fantasy you're their dream um, you know they could dream about you a lot this is also a feeling of like being overwhelmed emotionally um, being confused needing to make a decision and so you know this person could potentially have the tendency to be very overly emotional or or just kind of maybe hop from one emotional situation to the next where they kind of confuse themselves <laughs> um and so like i said now they're starting to realize like and and understand that like you are their fantasy they don't want to lose you they don't want to miss out on this connection and and like i said perhaps your defensive energy with this person and standing your ground um you know standing there with with justice in your hands saying i'm not going to do this anymore with you um if you're not going to kind of surrender and and kind of do things my way right Aquarius because it's always got to be your way we already know it's not a bad thing I mean you're smart you know what you're doing it's not like you're just steering everybody off of the side of a cliff you are you're in control right you have control but like I said this person intends to kind of work things out with you um, and kind of start over um, something more stable is what I'm hearing. There needs to be more stability in this connection because, you know, real deep, meaningful connections aren't built on hopes and dreams. They're built on stability. And I don't mean money. I mean, like, you know, stability. Okay. So let's see more about their intentions. We have the six of wands. So they definitely want a victory with you. They definitely do. Um, they want this to progress. They want to move forward. They want, you know, they want success. They want you to lift up that dress and, you know, get a little freaky out in the field somewhere with the animals. And I don't know, they're all like kind of watching. I think that's kind of creepy. So, you know, this person wants to move forward in this connection. They want public recognition. They want, you know, people to know that you guys are together. They, they want to be able to come out in a sense. Um, so for whatever reason, you know, if this person has felt like <sighs> confused or overwhelmed, you know, they are for sure about one thing. They do want to be with you. They do hope and pray for this connection and they do want success. They want forward movement and progression. <clears throat> so let's get clarification on their desired outcome. <laughs> I'm hearing, hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear when I'm looking at that damn card. Anyways, 
he's like coming up from behind. So I think maybe this person is kind of going to take you by surprise in a sense um, by by revealing their intentions to you. Whereas perhaps in the past, this person might have been confused or very overly emotional kind of um, type energy. I think you're you're gonna maybe be a little surprised by their intentions when they kind of come forward and, and let you know like how committed they are. Um, and with the star coming up, it is also a renewal, a rebirth, so this could be, you know, them kind of turning a new leaf in a sense and showing you um, the changes that they've made regarding this commitment. So let's get some clarity on their desired outcome. So we have the Eight of Swords again, and we have the Lovers. So, like I said... Their intentions are to come out, and I think it's funny because the devil's also on the bottom of the deck, and we have the devil also in the background of the Eight of Swords. And so again, you know, talking about the Eight of Swords being all about trapped in your mind and holding yourself back. So, you know, as you can see, she's she's ready, she's willing, right? She's naked, she's like, all right, I'm ready, come on, let's do this. And he's, he's resisting. He's resisting against this energy. Um, and I think it's because in the background, you know, perhaps maybe this person feels emotionally um, confused or overwhelmed because they have reason to be in that Eight of Swords energy, whether it be from past relationships or past um, circumstances with you. It just kind of depends. But since the devil is coming up on the bottom of the deck also, I feel like perhaps there was some toxic energy in this connection at some point. And that is probably why this person has held back on communication and allowed themselves to be trapped in their mind. Because I think this person really wants to love you, but at some point, like they're kind of questioning themselves because, you know, sometimes things can be kind of toxic between the two of you, is what I'm getting. So, whatever that is codependency, um, you know, materialism, um, lies, secrecy, deception, whatever it is, that devil energy that's coming up, you know what it is, okay? So if this relationship is toxic in any way, shape, or form, that's what it is. And this person is thinking about that, they're reflecting on that, and that's why they're maybe not communicating with you on the level that you expect, okay? They're holding back because they don't want to repeat the mistakes of the past is what I'm hearing. So... So let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about this because with the Eight of Swords to the Lovers, I feel strongly, like I said, this person intends to, to see where they're not stuck in their mind, that they're not trapped, where they've been holding themselves back and that they've been keeping themselves from being honest and open with you. And with the Lovers coming in here, I truly feel like this person's definitely wanting to choose this relationship. They know that this connection is divine. They know that being with you is what they want. Um, they see They see this as like they were spiritually guided towards you. And so if there was any toxic energy between the two of you or miscommunications, misunderstandings, those things were present so that you guys could grow, okay? And obviously we always use our discernment. If this is just straight up toxic and you are like, no, I'm not wanting, I'm not wanting to build on anything with this person, then this is obviously not your reading, okay? So in this person's intentions and desired outcome, they're wanting to build, they're wanting to collaborate and start new, um, um, and have a stable new beginning choosing this person and choosing this relationship and choosing to not let themselves be trapped in their minds any longer okay so Aquarius let's get some energy oracles and see what is going on as far as challenges damn I just blew the candle out with these cards <laughs> oh that's okay let's not blow the other one out so what is the challenge? What's the blockage right now? I mean, you could be married to this person. Um, this could be <clears throat> this person wanting to marry you. But like I said, before those things happen, before that higher level of commitment is reached, there needs to be some sort of communication or reveal um, or renewal of this connection.
So we have the woman holding a coin and we have the fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. So this is the throat chakra. So again, as I was saying, I'm feeling very strongly that the communication needs to start flowing between the two of you. And so if this is coming up as the challenge, um, you know, this can manifest as miscommunications, as, you know, not being able to get the words out that you need to express. Um, and this is going to be very common over the next couple of weeks with, with the end of, of Mercury retrograde, okay? Um, so it might be a little difficult for this person to express how they really feel. And I feel like I'm having deja vu. I swear every single one of these Zodiac readings, this has been a common theme. Holding back feelings, suppressing emotions, not knowing how to communicate true feelings and blocked throat chakras. Okay. So with the woman holding a coin, you could be dealing with someone who is an earth sign um, or someone who is, you know, very very concerned with finances, very concerned with material things. And so a woman holding a coin to me, just like the man holding a coin, could represent some sort of proposal. And so if this person is wanting to come towards you and and propose an offer of stability to you, because you know we also have the ace of pentacles here which is could be a proposal um, this person could potentially want to to make this offer towards you but really not know how to communicate that to you right now okay and so they're wishing and hoping for this victory with you but i think they're starting to realize that they might need a little bit more time to kind of um, build a little bit and kind of work on things maybe for themselves um, and like i said get out of that trapped mentality in order to really communicate what it is that they're wanting from this connection with you okay so you know this could be somebody who was conditioned their whole lives to care more about money than than anything else or you know very worried about finances or just stability in general um, and with that devil energy popping up you know like I said this could be someone who's very materialistic but again, just take it how it resonates for you. So let's get some eternal messages from this person and see what they'd like to communicate to you from their higher self. What is this person wanting to communicate to Aquarius? What messages do we have? Oh my goodness. Almost had like 500 messages fall out. Let's get just a couple more. A couple more. One. Okay, so just like huge chunks of cards are flipping over. So like I said, this person could really have a lot to say, not know how to say it. Um, let's see what we have. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's see. Okay, so speaking of communication, don't think because we don't talk, I don't want you, because I do. Um, so we you know this person is kind of letting you know, maybe they're not saying everything right now, maybe they're not communicating with you the way that you want them to, but they definitely still want you. Um, you know, they're, they're feeling like you are the king of wands to them. They're feeling that passionate energy. You're making them see life in a new way. They fantasize about you. They dream about you. They definitely still want this. So don't be confused by this person's style of communication. Even though we're not together, I just can't see myself letting you go. So, like I said, this person wants marriage with you. They want a higher level of commitment with you. They may not be um, with you right now. And if you are together with this person, um, you know, like I said, this card might not be for you. It could just be like metaphorically not together. Um, you know, you could not be on the same page right now. And so that could be symbolizing you not being together. But either way, they don't want to let go of you. They want this to work. They want to build on this. I can tell you don't trust me and I want to change that so like I said with them seeing you in this energy of perhaps being defensive towards them or standing your ground um, maybe like putting the nail in the coffin in a sense where you're just kind of surrendering and letting go of everything trying to heal um, and just rest they could just be getting vibes from you that you don't trust them that you that you don't 
that you're not willing to open up to them or see them for who they are um, for whatever reason that might be okay and you know you could not trust them just simply because they're not communicating with you and that's rightfully so right so I've been sending you messages in 5D. So this person tries to connect with you telepathically, um, energetically, they're reaching out to you. They're wanting to kind of um, send you their love, send you their feelings towards you. Because like I said, right now, they might not have the words to do so. Um, they could be more focused on stability right now. And like I said, that's another common theme I've been seeing in a lot of these Zodiac readings tonight. So I hold back because I don't want to be rejected. This card's come up a lot too. And so with Mars retrograde, <clears throat> lots of like misplaced aggression and um, feelings and things like that coming up with all the retrogrades that we're going through right now. And so this person could be, um, like I said, trapped in their mind right now. They know that it's them. They know that they're the problem. They know that they're the ones that need to kind of just walk away from this energy and actively choose this connection. Um, but I think that for them, it could potentially be about rejection. Okay. They don't want you to push them away. And I think that they feel you slipping away, which is why they're in their intentions, wishing and hoping for this victory with you. Um, maybe hoping and praying that you don't Put that last nail in the coffin right so aquarius let's see what song dedications we have from this person see what they would say via song do we have anything else just one more maybe one more one more on the floor okay so Oh, and we had two actually. All right, so we have higher love. So think about it. There must be higher love down in the heart or hidden in the stars above. Without it, life is wasted time. Look inside your heart. I'll look inside mine. Steve Winwood. So, you know, bring me a higher love. This person wants that higher level of commitment and love with you. They want this union with you. Um, and so, you know, it's maybe causing them to have to look deeper within themselves and see, like I said, where they've been the problem before, where they've allowed this kind of connection to, to, um, to require healing, to require renewal. They are maybe seeing how they've affected the relationship at this point, right? It must be something better than, than what's happening right now is what they're saying. And we have trouble by cold play. So, oh no, what's this? A spider web and I'm caught in the middle. So I turned to run and thought of all the stupid things I've done. I never meant to cause you trouble. I never meant to do you harm. So what did I say? This person's realizing the error of their ways. They're starting to see perhaps how their behavior was stupid, um, <clears throat> that it caused maybe some drama with you, caused the confusion. Um, they're seeing, you know, they're having that, that awakening inside their understanding and seeing things from a new perspective, from your perspective, perhaps. And so in my life from the Beatles, so, but all of these friends and lovers, there's no one that compares with you. So they already know that they're, they're not going to walk away from this connection. There's no one that they can even compare to you. No one even shines a light next to you, Aquarius. They know that they've got everything with you. They just might have an issue when it comes to acknowledging perhaps where they've been the one that's kind of like blocking the connection it's like they're blocking the connection <laughs> it's really sad but like i said their intentions are to move past that their intentions are to heal things with you um and so you know i see this person really being stable really working with you um and and just kind of with temperance operating from their higher selves. So definitely let me know if this reading resonated with you, with anyone. Um, if you have any questions for me or if you would like to schedule a private reading, please feel free to check me out in the description box below. All my info will be down there. Other than that, I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of Scorpio season. I love you and I will see you soon. Bye.